City. It is a great honor to be part of this wonderful commemoration, uh, to know uh, the distinguished uh, recipients of this award before uh, you today, Bud, must make you tingle and feel triply honored. Um, we're here, of course, to recognize Charles T. Ferrillo, Jr. That's the last time we will refer to him as Charles T. Uh, affectionately, we and you call him a Bud, and to present him with the highly prestigious Chester C. Travelstead Award. Through his life's work, Bud has crafted a long and distinguished career as nothing less than a human rights activist. He has championed causes as varied as educational equality for all children, to veterans issues, and to arts funding. He served as chief of staff to two speakers of the South Carolina House of Representatives and as Deputy, Deputy Lieutenant Governor of the State of South Carolina. He is currently serving as a communications specialist for the Children's Law Center, a group that we're most proud of uh, here in Columbia and at our law school. And he continues his private public relations practice. That's a public-private partnership, isn't it, Bud? <laughs> In recent years, Bud has received national recognition, and you know for what reason, for his award-winning documentary, Carter of Shame, The Neglect of South Carolina's Rural Schools. This was a courageous film, and it brought to light the significant challenges and obstacles that our rural districts continue to face, not face, but continue to face, as they continue to struggle to provide equitable education for all students of South Carolina. Bud has said that making this documentary became a profoundly moving experience, noting, and I quote, through this can candid look at the shameful conditions that are still endured in America's rural schools, I found inspiration, end of quote. Now, how do you find inspiration in something like that? The film received extensive coverage, reaching the highest levels of both the state and the federal government. Bud honors the courage, the candor, and the grace of those who came forward to share their stories. So we honor Bud today in part for speaking the truth to power and for advocating change. I was reminded of this documentary and of Bud's work when on the 6th of September, the new Dillon Middle School was dedicated. <clears throat> Dillon Middle replaced the 100-year-old J.V. Martin School that was prominently featured in the Corridor of Shame. At last, finally, Dillon students moved from those dilapidated buildings many of them built at the turn, no, not of the 21st century, but at the turn of the 20th century, to modern classrooms. We salute Bud for the role he had in, in making that possible. In addition to that educational documentary, Bud assembled a traveling exhibition entitled, But What About Us? But What About Us? Student Photographs from the Corridor of Shame. And that exhibit of powerful student photography continues to be displayed around our state. He's currently involved with a petition campaign that urges the General Assembly to allow voters to replace the current state public educational standard of, quote, minimally adequate education with, quote, a system of high quality education in our state's constitution. Would Bud Frillo and Congressman Clyburn please join me for a moment here up at, the, uh, up at the podium? And it would be fine for you to recognize them as they come up. Uh, I'm going to ask uh, the Congressman to hold the plaque while I read it, and then we'll present it to Bud. It says, The Chester C. Travelstead Award for Courage in Education is presented to Charles T. <laughs> Bud, in parentheses, Ferrillo Jr., in recognition of his leadership 
in South Carolina to further the values of integrity, intellectual spirit, justice, stewardship, and in so doing, allowing schools to become more compassionate, more generous, more humane, and more thoughtful. And then with a quote, it says, history, despite its wrenching pain, cannot be unlived. But if faced with courage, need not be lived again. Maya Angelou. Congratulations to Bud Ferrello.